I have been trying to shoot this video from morning and I have been horribly failing at it because I couldn't find one place in this entire campus that is silent for sake. So this is going to be the setup that you're going to get in this video. A picture of uh, the Russian bridge that I shot during last summer during a storm that happened to pass by the island and uh, the <laughs> mirror wardrobe on the other side because uh, I decided to shoot it this way because the other side of the room other side of my table is actually looking pretty horrible for this time. I had not prepared to shoot this video in my room, but that's what we get. Anyway, finally you have made it into medical school. First of all, congratulations and welcome to the family. I still remember my first year in medical school to be an absolute nightmare. Because when I first entered medical school, I had just come off of one of my most horrible years in my entire school life and I have been pushed abroad. After all the rush and colors of moving abroad faded away in a couple of days, I was left with a whole lot of responsibilities and the entire first year of medical school to take care of all by myself. All of a sudden, I didn't have my parents to fall back on. All my friends were people I had met a couple of days back during my flight to Vladivostok and these all made the situation worse. So in this video, I have decided to give you all some of my tips to help you cope through or should I say, help you survive your first year in medical school. If you are new to this channel, I'm Mohit Saravana Piramal and I'm a final year medical student here in the Far Eastern Federal University and let's get started. So tip number one, the first two years of your medical school are going to be the most amount of free time that you're going to get during your entire time in here. So make sure you make the most out of it. This is the time to experiment. Start with things like study patterns, book preferences, figuring out things that help you calm down during your stressful situation. And believe me, you're going to have a lot of those during your time in medical school. Anyway, use this time to figure out what are all the things that you like and what are all the things that you don't like. Because know this, all of these things are going to be entirely different from what all you have been experiencing during your high school time. Because here in medical school, you cover a lot more portions and are expected to remember those portions for a longer period of time compared to what all you had learned during your school days. Also, if you're new to cooking, just like how I was during my first year in medical school, then know that cooking takes up a huge chunk of space during your day. And this is especially true if you are going to be cooking alone. So you have to figure out methods which will help you manage time and will also make this process a bit quicker. You can start by looking through things like meal preparations and tutorials online which will help you make things really quick, easy and will also be tasty at the end. I hope so because food is a major part of keeping your mind going. It is a major source of morale booster. So make sure that you eat properly. Otherwise, you're going to suffer through a lot of things or end up spending a lot of money in here. Which brings us to our second tip. Have a good relationship with your seniors. And know that I'm not just saying that because I'm going to be the senior if I'm going to come to my university this year. Not just that. Believe me when I say he or she has been through enough hell already and knows a bit about your university. This is one of the things that I didn't get to have because I was the first batch to come to my university in the English speaking faculty. So your seniors will have a lot more tips to offer that are specific to your particular university. Things like how to handle a particular faculty, how to go on about different subjects, what are all the preparations that are required for different kinds of tests, what books are being preferred, things like these. These tips could sometimes be the loopholes that that could help make your life in medical school a little bit easier. Tip number three, in medical school, revision is key. Remember, as I said before, in medical school, we cover a vast amount of portion and we are also expected to remember this for a long period of time. This is truly one of the biggest fears among the entire medical community and the profession in general. You might be covering every single lecture, reading through textbooks cover to cover, giving your absolute best in your exams, but still forget to remember the entire concept the next time you want to reach out for it. But as usual, there is always an easy fix for any complex issues. Spaced repetition and active recall are two of the most overused terms among university students in this day and age. And it isn't just a speculation. It is really popular among university students because it just works. Revision is one of the most effective ways to remember vast amount of information. Space repetition and active recall are small tweaks that we can make to revision to make it even more effective. There are hundreds of videos online and I'll try to leave some of my favorites below. But it isn't that easy to follow right away. It takes a long time and a lot of practice 
before you actually turn it into a habit and make it feel less like a work. Up next, start with building up your routine. Routines are some of the most easy ways to manage your time. Routines actually help you reduce the amount of time that we actually spend on deciding what to do. Haven't we all been there before? Spending hours and hours together, deciding what movie to watch rather than pick a movie and watch it, or even picking up a dress to wear that morning. Routines have also shown to reduce things like homesickness in people who have just moved out of their homes. Routines help by keeping you busy and at the end of the day, it gets the job done. The only drawback of routines is that they tend to build up fatigue over time. The easy fix is to switch things up a bit or take a break when you absolutely need it. But make sure that you know the difference between fatigue that is building up or absolute laziness and I think we all know which is what. Speaking of routines, know that burnout is a real phenomenon. Yes, sometimes you feel like you have had enough of everything and just need a break. And the best thing to do at that point of time is just go with the flow of your mind and do what your mind desires and take a break. But there is actually a lot of things that you can do to reduce the amount of time between two burnouts. Like I said before, if you're starting to build up that fatigue in your routine, then switch things up a bit. This is one of the most easiest of fixes. These can be things like changing your study place, switching to a different time slot when you study, experimenting with things like note taking. I personally, every single year, change the way I take notes so that I don't build fatigue into my routine. For example, in my first year, I used to take all my notes digitally. Second and third year, I shifted to physical textbooks. Fourth and fifth year, I shifted to A4 sheets. And in my sixth year, I don't take notes at all. Another one to keep in mind is to always keep your morale up using coping mechanisms. These are the things that you implement in your day-to-day -day routines like going for a run, involving yourself in a hard or physical exercise, hobbies like photography, videography, making YouTube videos, music, etc. And don't forget, food is the major boost of morale that you can give yourself. Make sure that you treat yourself at least once a week, even if the week hadn't gone your way. The next tip is to improve upon your reading speeds. Know that your books are going to get bigger and bulkier, and also you're going to get very less time progressively as you move your way through medical school. I have made an entire video just dedicated for this topic, and I'll leave it just below the like button. And at last, try to have a perfect balance between your social and your academic life because remember you have just moved into an entirely new country and there is a whole new world that is unexplored out there so don't forget to take some time sit back from your books relax and enjoy your way through medical school so that's it for me in this video leave likes down below comment down all your suggestions i'm eager to read all your comments and i'll see you guys in the next video really soon take care bye bye our than my roommate yeah bye idu thana ukkand edukkanuma yeah <laughs> and he gave me this. This is so satisfying. Focus on this bitch. This is so Because satisfying. Because you will see if I must see if must out of focus. <laughs> see how sharp it is holding focus. Just as I said that it lost focus. Bye bye.